For some reason, most of us are just naturally attracted to the water. Most of us enjoy that calm sense and feeling it brings, until things seem to go wrong. Welcome back guys, it is your boy Broncos Guru, and it is this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Most of us have heard of the term road rage. What we're going to see here is a little bit different than that, as this is boat rage. My man is going down one of the canals in Europe here, and he sees a sweet little mooring spot over here on the side. Him and his wife are going to go ahead and take that spot, but as you can tell over here on the left, well, there's a canal boat that was eyeing this exact same spot. Basically, once my man gets in here and gets moored up, this canal boat decides he's going to show his frustration by coming over and actually ramming this vessel. I don't know why this man and his wife decided this would be a good idea to actually try and hit this boat, but they go ahead and do it anyway. The canal boat captain actually winds up getting a real big attitude with this guy until he figures out he's being videotaped and quickly retreats after that. Our next boaters are riding the wave of life. Literally riding the wave. On a big sailboat. I'm not sure how they pulled this off. I'm not sure how the boat doesn't get hurt or nobody else does. They actually have a very lucky lady here who you just saw slide down the screen. I don't know how she didn't wind up overboard, but this is pretty nuts. Why anybody would want to do this is crazy, but it looks like they did this intentionally. And once again, you'll see this lady come sliding down here in just a moment. If that rail wasn't there, that would have been it for her. Our next boater this week is going to experience the prop wash. What prop wash is, is when a larger vessel is typically under power, holding itself against a dock or a pier, and is sending this wash off the stern of the boat as you see here. What it can cause though is when a smaller vessel like we see crossing here gets caught in it, it's going to get pushed away. And as you can tell, it's being pushed across the canal while this yacht was trying to come across as well. Luckily, this blue vessel does get itself under its own power, but that yacht is almost into the wall trying to avoid them. The blue vessel does finally get underway under its own power and does narrowly miss this yacht and the yacht does keep it off the wall as well. Why that blue vessel decided they were going to try and cross that close to this larger boat though is beyond me. Our next boater was sent in this week from Brody Konjanicki over on Instagram and it's just a little scene of my man having a little tough time docking. We all been there. We've all had that incident where we just couldn't get it done. My man's going to back into the back of the dock and that all too familiar scene of overcompensating and throwing that throttle forward too hard. Tough scene my man, tough scene. I really don't even know what much to say about this next one except for, come on man, really? Why in the world would you want to put your kids in the front of this boat with no life jackets on, feet dangling in the water, when all it takes is for one of them to slip and they are under the boat? See all too much of this, especially on our second channel, Boats vs. Haulovers. If you haven't checked that out, I'm going to leave a video on the end screen on this one for you to go check out over there as well. If you guys see anything crazy happen on your waterway, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know. Maybe your video will be featured over here. And if you haven't already, drop an anchor on that subscribe button. If not, I'm coming to steal your drain plug. Also, stay tuned. Don't forget, we are going to give away a trip this year to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll have the details out on how you can do that. 